Now we are going to discuss Helmholtz electric double layer and zeta potential. And let's discuss this and let's try to understand this with an example. Let's say I have a container which contains aqueous solution of potassium iodide. That means the solution contains lot of potassium and iodide ions. Now into this solution I add silver nitrate solutions drop wise so when I add a single drop of AgNO3 or single particle of AgNO3 it will go into solution and dissociate into Ag positive ions and NO3 negative ions. Now this Ag positive ion combines with iodide ion to form silver iodide colloidal particle. Now this silver iodide particles attracts a common ion on its surface. What is meaning of common ion? Now the silver iodide colloidal particle will either attract silver ions on its surface or iodide ions on its surface from the solution. But because silver ions are not present, I am adding silver nitrate drop wise and whatever silver iodide is introduced into the solution gets attached with the iodide ion to form AGI so, I, so silver ions are not present there in the solution nexus but iodide ions are there so this silver iodide will attract these iodide ions on its surface and it will adsorb it there so the iodide ions are adsorbed on this surface of silver iodide colloidal particle formed adsorption because of which the colloidal particle of silver iodide becomes negatively charged. Now this negatively charged particle start attracting oppositely charged ions, other oppositely charged ion toward itself from the solution. Now what are the other oppositely charged ions present in this solution? Yes, that is the positively charged potassium ions. So these positively charged potassium ions come and surround this negatively charged silver iodide uh, colloidal particle and they form a circular layer around it. And this layer of potassium ion is almost fixed. That means it doesn't move because of attraction by the iodide ions present on the surface of silver iodide colloidal particles. On the other hand, the other ions, the other potassium and, uh, and iodide ions which are not that much strongly, uh, strongly attracted, they form a different layer or it is called a diffused layer. A diffused layer or a mobile layer which is almost free to move. So there is a fixed layer and there is a mobile layer and the, potash, uh, the potential difference between these uh, fixed layer and mobile layer is called zeta potential. Again I repeat these two layers fixed layers and mobile layers are called Helmholtz electrical double layers and the potential difference between these two layers is called zeta potential. I hope this thing was clear to you. If not, you can always ask in our comment section. And stay tuned for more videos of organic, inorganic and physical chemistry. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.